What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Today we are going to be talking to you about why I started trading options and how I even got into the stock market to begin with. I feel like this is a pretty important segment for the channel because I want you guys to know that I'm not just here for the money. I do like the money, but I'm really here for the long term. I'm here to help you guys trade options. It's not like I'm just going to hit, you know, a million dollar play tomorrow and be out this bitch. If I hit a million dollar play, bro, whew, I'd be in this bitch longer. All right, so let's get into how I even got into the stock market to begin with. So let's take it back to my childhood when I used to play this game called RuneScape. Now on RuneScape, they have this thing called the Grand Exchange, which is basically the stock market of that video game. You can buy and sell items. They go up and down in price every single day, depending what news events are going on in the game, what features they update to the game, how players are playing the game. There's so many factors that go into the grand exchange and how prices fluctuate. And that's really my first experience with the stock market. So how I got into the stock market was I was researching real estate a ton and I was watching this guy named Graham Stephan's YouTube videos and he happened to make a video about like passive income or something. But one of his videos, he started mentioning ETFs like a lot, and I noticed that in a bunch of other videos I was watching how people mentioned ETFs. Now an ETF is just a index fund for a bunch of different stocks in the stock market. It's just a group of stocks into one index that trades at a lower or higher price, depending what it has in it, how much the chart goes up and down, how much the dividends pay. There's a lot of factors into ETFs, but it's basically just a group of stocks into one index. So I started looking into those and I had quite a bit of excess cash, not too much, just a couple grand, but I really wanted to put that into an environment where it would be building slowly and I was going to get like a rental property or something like that. I know you can't get that off of couple grand but I was still thinking about saving my money to do that and then once I finally went and actually looked into the stock market and started researching these ETFs I was just blown away at how much potential the stock market had in it I didn't really know I've never been introduced to the stock market so as soon as I was actually introduced to it I just saw the possibilities and then shortly after probably like a day or two I found options in the stock market and as soon as I found options I was hooked because it was literally just like a video game in real life. You're just watching these stocks go up and down. The news has a huge factor on all of these stocks. Like one news story can make a stock drop like $10 or even go up $10. So it was almost like a no brainer to get into options because I've always been interested in what's going on in the world, but I never really had like a purpose for it. So it was really pointless to just research all these things that are going on when it doesn't benefit me in any way. Now I play in the stock market and I trade options almost every single day, so the news benefits me tremendously. Like the coronavirus that's going on right now, that is clapping my long-term portfolio. I was up almost $100 in my long-term and now we're about at break even. But for the long-term, I'm holding all those stocks for 10, 20 years, maybe even longer. Just depends what happens. Besides that, I started trading options and literally my first like week or two of options I hit a $50 into $500 play and after that I was hooked like before that even happened I was researching like seven eight hours a day for like the first week and then I hit that options play and I was blown away I did not know you could make thousand percent plays in options so as soon as I figured that out and figured out kind of the methods behind it I was hooked and I was just researching more and more every day I learned how to trade options really fast and I didn't even really start with paper trading I just went in there with my own money and was like whatever let's see what happens I think I put like $200 in to begin with I wasn't really expecting to get that $200 back I was expecting to lose it pretty quickly but from what the stock market has shown me as long as you stay consistent and you're not gambling you can be profitable in trading so let's go to this Google Doc I have and this Google Doc has every single trade I've ever done since I started I only started about two or three months ago I hit this Disney play and I was just blown away I had like $700 in my account but as you can see it slowly trickled away. So before I even hit my next play, I lost like $300 of the 500 I made, but then I hit a $600 play and I started losing even more. And then I think I got to a point where I was back to my like two, $300, maybe up a couple hundred dollars. And I just told myself, I was like, I am not going to chase stocks anymore. I am going to research every single play I do before I do it. And I'm going to make sure I'm not dropping a hundred, $120 on a play that 
is very unlikely to hit. So I started focusing more, controlling the balance, started doing plays that didn't have quite as much risk in them, and it started working out. I started getting wins a lot more consistently. It wasn't up until this Home Depot play that I really lost a lot, and I wouldn't have lost a lot on this play, but I accidentally bought two contracts, so I would have been positive on this week if I didn't mess that up, but I'm still doing decent. I'm still getting consistent income through all these trades, of course with a lot of help from the trading fraternity, but I don't copy all of their plays. I only copy the ones I like and I think that have potential. So yeah, the trading fraternity did give me a lot of these plays and helped me, but a lot of them are my decisions. I can't remember which one it was, Apple or Facebook. The trading fraternity gave me one of these plays, but I, I personally made one of, I think I made the Apple one myself and I made a $200 play with $30. That's pretty decent just from me doing my research. This play almost didn't hit though. So of course options are really risky, but as long as you're controlling your balance and you're not actually gambling, you're making strategic plays, you can consistently become profitable. You just have to take it slow and steady. Don't rush it. If you hit a six, seven hundred dollar play, pull four hundred dollars of it out and put it in a long term. Keep that money away from you and just slow and steady. You don't want to do what I did and win a six hundred dollar play, win a seven hundred dollar play and then lose it all almost the next week. You don't want to do that. You want to stay consistent. So I would say I'm up about $600 total, which is pretty decent. It's not like anything insane, but I'm not trying to become a millionaire overnight. I'm just slowly but surely trying to get these profits going, get my long term going on the side. But I kind of went off topic there. The reason why I love options so much is just because it's a real life video game. There's so much potential in options. The trading fraternity literally hit a play the other day that was like $80 into 5000 There's so much potential into options. So as long as you stay steady and just don't gamble, you will have potential to hit one of those plays in the future. You just have to take your time, follow the trading fraternity. They will help you find plays if you don't know what you're doing quite yet. But just don't rush into options. You can also paper trade. You can use paper money to trade so you don't have to use your own money and you can learn how these options contracts fluctuate with the stock market because a lot of these can expire worthless really quickly. You can have this $22 right here. That's your profit but that'll go to zero almost like that. So you have to be aware of the potential of these option contracts and also how quickly their prices fluctuate. But on top of that, I really don't like spend a lot of money. So if I want to put $20, $30 into an options play that has potential to make me a few hundred, I would way rather do that than go buy literally anything. I'd rather buy an option than go and buy myself new shoes. I just love the potential that options have and I know that it's there and I know if I stay consistent that something great will happen as long as I just don't gamble my money away. And now that I've been in options for a couple months, my mindset has not changed. Like, yeah, I like the money, but in reality, I just love trading. I don't even really care about the money that much. Like, it's nice that my account's up and profitable, but I really think the only reason my account's up and profitable is because I'm not really focusing on how much money I make. I'm focusing on making consistent winning trades and becoming a better trader. That's why I only have four plays right here. Like I had an opportunity to take like four or five plays that the trading fraternity also did, but I really only liked this one, so the PFE play. So that's the one I played, and I didn't play any other ones. It's about a $30 risk, and I can potentially make two, $300 if it goes where I want it to go, but I could make more if it goes higher than where I think it's going to go. So that's the beauty of options. This $30 play could literally turn into 300 but it also could turn into 1000 depending what happens. But more than that, now that I've learned all this stuff and I understand investing a little more, I really just want to teach other people. That's why I started this YouTube channel. We did our first live stream today, and I had a guy in there. His name was Vince. He sat with me for like three or four hours, asked me a couple questions, and I was happy to answer him. It was amazing. I just love the fact that someone is willing to 
come into some random dude's live stream who doesn't even have any viewers and ask him some questions, try to get a little bit better understanding of the stock market. If you're interested in it at all, I'll be happy to answer any of your questions. So don't ever be fearful that I'm not going to do that for you. Some of the things I'm explaining may just go over your head, but with research and time, you will slowly start to understand how options work. And there are so many different strategies you can use. That's another thing I like. It's not just like, buy a call, buy a put. There's debit spreads, credit spreads, butterflies, iron condors. There's so many strategies you can use and I love it. I love options trading so much. I feel like I'm going to be doing it for the rest of my life. Even if I lose the whole six, $800 I have profited so far, I still feel like I'm going to trade options no matter what because I know the potential. This PFE play could literally hit the two, $300 mark tomorrow and then boom, my account's up a thousand dollars and it could not happen this could expire worthless but at least i only lost thirty dollars that's not that bad thirty dollars i can handle i can make thirty dollars again and then we can try again so it's not a big deal and then as soon as you hit a play like your thirty dollars is paid for and you don't even have to worry about that so you just gotta stay consistent don't gamble and yeah, but that's why I started trading options. I kind of went off a, on a tangent there. So, But I hope this gives you a little insight on why I even trade options in the first place. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it wasn't that educational, but I want you guys to learn a little bit about myself as well because you always should learn about who you are learning from. So I just wanted to make this video. Plus, I'm running out of video ideas. So if you guys have any video ideas, leave them in the comments below. I'd really appreciate it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to leave a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel be sure to check us out live we're live monday through friday market open to market close and i'll see you guys in the next video